everyone, it's Mrs. Fortin here. How are you? I hope that you're all doing well. Today we're going to start our alien sculpture. So we did a drawing last time of what we wanted our alien to kind of look like. And now we get the fun part of sculpting it. So let's get started. Okay, so I just sent out some newspaper on my spot here so that I'm not getting clay all over and I grabbed my example of the sculpture that I'm going to make and we're ready to get going. Last time um, we just did the drawing part so now we're going to start doing the sculpting part and I gave you a couple of different tools something probably similar to this which is like a giant toothpick um, and then a lollipop stick, popsicle stick and a sponge and if you didn't for some reason get a sponge any sponge will work and I just have it slightly wet so you can get that just a little damp that's good the first thing that you want to do is start getting your clay mushed together into um, a ball and when you do that you're just kind of pushing the clay that was on the outside into the inside and kind of moving it back and forth the stuff that's more dry on the inside, you just want to kind of smooth that out. Stuff that's on the inside goes out, so you're just kind of mushing it around, okay? Getting it a little bit more pliable. Then start looking at your sculpture. So I'm going to do something similar to this, and she's going to have kind of some tentacle legs. So the overall base of the shape is what I want to start with. So if I was to break this sculpture down into more of a blob form, okay, it would look more like just just the shape of the face, okay, and I'm going to do this all in one piece. I'm not going to do separate pieces for the head and then separate pieces for the arms. I want it to be all one. So as I'm looking at it, I'm going to kind of make it a little bit longer because it's a little bit longer in the picture, and then I'm just going to kind of start squeezing for what will be the head. And I know that the head is about a third of the actual sculpture, so I'm gonna make that about a third, okay? And then I'm gonna go down to the body. Not worrying about the hands yet. And I'm gonna start working on those legs. Now my legs have kind of a base of tentacles. So I want to it's kind of it kind of tapers down and then has these tentacles that are going to come across the bottom now I want the base to be pretty pretty thick now we're not firing these so that's it's okay to make them thicker the biggest thing is you don't want thin pieces so if your drawing has something that's really thin you're going to probably have to modify that a little bit um, as I'm looking at my drawing this is a great example um, these pieces of hair here, they can't be that tiny and little, otherwise they're just going to fall off. So um, when you're doing that, think about that. So the base part should be kind of thick. And if you don't have a base like these tentacles that I have, what you should do is um, have, have him standing on something or have her standing on something so that you have something that it's like it's on a rock or it's like of the moon maybe or something where it's landing. Um, so here comes my legs and I'm just kind of going in and adding some of the details and kind of more the shape and kind of getting it so that I know that it's going to be secure. Okay I wanted to grab some black paper so that you can see this a little bit better but now I'm going to go ahead and start sculpting and the overall shape of my um, alien is the head part is bit, is thicker than the neck so I'm just gonna keep kind of pulling up onto the head part top part is a little more square to smooth it or if it's starting to get dry at all you can use your sponge I made the lips kind of protruding out and you can see that in the picture because this the lip area is all um, lighter because it's catching the sun so that area is going to be out more so I'm just going to kind of go in 
and push in the other areas, okay? Now, if you need extra clay, you can always just rip some off. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more down below. Teeth are coming from the top, so I'm gonna add those on. And when you're adding things on, I want you to keep one thing, this is very important, keep this one thing in mind. Just because you're pushing the clay on there and it sticks now doesn't mean it's going to stay there. So you have to make sure that you're securing that on there well because once the moisture is gone, it may not stay. The moisture may be what's keeping it on there now. So you got to make sure that you're taking tools and really making sure that you're pushing those pieces, any little added pieces that you have on there, make sure that you're really securing those on there. All right, and I have another tooth over here that I'm going to put on there. And then uh, that top part of the lip comes up over the teeth. Okay, and then I've got two eyes, and I'm actually going to add those on. And I'm just making two pieces that are very similar in size. And again, I'm just going to reinforce that those are going to stay on there. This tool right here is going to work great. The end of the tool I'm going to use to create the pupil. The nice thing about that is with that much depth, when I push in that far, you can really see the eyes now because it's creating a shadow. Okay, the other thing on my picture that I really want to make sure that I get is just at least these little kind of nubs that come out where her ponytails come out. So I'm going to rob some more from the bottom part. Now, again, we can't make those as thin as my drawing has them because it's very thin. Um, but I'm just going to kind of make a piece right there that's going to stick on there. I'm going to reinforce that with my stick. And I also had like little ponytail older things in there, so I'm just going to wrap that around. Okay. Um, I'll pull that up so you can see it. So much thinner than this is probably not going to stay. So make sure that if you're, if you're putting something on that's real thin like this, you know, make sure that it's secured on there very well, otherwise it may not stay. I'm going to do the same thing onto the other side, and then I'm going to come back and we'll show you the arms. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four. 